Learn English using cardinal numbers correctly. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to dive into an exciting part of English grammar. We will focus on cardinal numbers and adjective placement. By the end of this video, you'll be more confident in your ability to use cardinal numbers effectively in your sentences. So, let's get started. Cardinal numbers are numbers that indicate quantity. They include numbers like 1, 2, 3, and so on. We use these numbers to count items or people and to give clear, numerical information. For example, I have two cats. She read three books last week. Typically, cardinal numbers come before the noun they are modifying. They are similar to adjectives in this way because they describe the noun. For example, she bought five apples. Here, the cardinal number, five, comes before the noun, apples. Things get interesting when we use cardinal numbers with other adjectives. When a noun has both a cardinal number and an adjective, the cardinal number usually comes before the adjective. For example, I saw three big dogs in the park. In this sentence, three is the cardinal number and big is the adjective. The cardinal number three comes before the adjective big. But remember, This rule is not absolute. Sometimes for emphasis or style, we might see the adjective before the number. This is less common and more often seen in literature or poetry. Let's look at more examples to understand better. She bought two new dresses. Not, she bought new two dresses. I have four older brothers. Not, I have older four brothers. Now, it's your turn. Try making sentences with cardinal numbers and adjectives. And there you have it, folks. You now know more about cardinal numbers and their placement with adjectives in sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, don't forget to make your own sentences using what we've learned today. Thank you for tuning in, and keep practicing your English. Happy learning!